here it's late april on a sunday afternoon and you know i can't wait to fire up the mower unfortunately the rain just will not stop long enough to make that possible so i'll take this opportunity to uh, tell you a little bit about what i've done so far this spring to get the lawn ready now, a little background i just purchased this house about a year ago the lawn had been a little neglected before i bought the house because during the time it was on the market and so this fall uh, I did do an aeration and overseeding. So it's uh, we're looking at a two to three year project to totally get it where I want it. Um, we had a patch of really warm weather in February and March and so I was able to get uh, malorganite down feed the, the grass and um, we got a lot of rain and the grass was loving it it was lush and green and then the dandelions started popping up so I needed a little bit of weed control, the broadleaf stuff. My stepdaughter was uh, doing a little yard work for a neighbor, pulling weeds and stuff, so she went to Ace, picked up a lawn weeder, call it a weed popper, and uh, what they don't tell you when they sell you this is that, yeah, it'll pop the dandelions out, but the roots go about this deep and they're just going to grow back. So this is really useless. And so I got some of the weed and feed, but I really most of the time like to keep it organic and all natural. That's why uh, malorganite is, tends to be my choice for uh, feeding the lawn. Up, uh, earlier in the season, I mentioned I uh, put some malorganite on and about four weeks later, which is about a week ago, I laid down the weed and feed. So we had a lot of dandelions. I have a lot of broadleaf problems. So you can see dandelions not looking so good, but hanging in there. And I also have a lot of clover in the lawn. And there's some of the clover. And I know it's got good uh, for, with nitrogen. It's actually good for the lawn. But in the front, I want the front lawn to be really sharp. I want it to just be grass. I'm a little more lax in the in the uh, backyard because it's more private and woodsy. As I mentioned, the backyard is a little more a little more lax. Here's my wife. And we had bare spots really bad around here. And so I did some spring overseeding and it's it's filling in nice, pretty well. We also had a part of the problem was we had our wedding here in the backyard so it got pretty well trampled back in September. And this was really bare too, this little slope. And it's filling in too, although there's some Weeds and crabgrass or clumping fescue, it's gonna have to be dealt with. Let's, uh, my edges need some grooming. I did manually do edging. Here's what I was using at the beginning of the season for the manual edging. This is made by the uh, Garden Weasel people. Yes, it's the Weasel Edger Chopper. And it really, uh, we got a lot of compliments very early in the season about how sharp the, uh, the edges looked. And I'm anxious to try out that new attachment, so I, because man, I got blisters even with work gloves working this thing all day. See what that's doing? It's creating a really defined space between the sidewalk and the turf. My wife's been doing a lovely job planting flowers and tending to rose bushes and whatnot, but man, it breaks my heart not to be able to mow this because of all the rain just will not stop long enough for the past week pretty much for me to do that and the real downside of that i know the grass is loving the rain but the downside for me is i don't have a bagger for my mower some more of the dandelions again not looking that great but hanging in there still i'll uh if things improve i'll provide an update on that weed and feed solution otherwise uh looks like some weed be gone is going to be in order Loving this oak tree, but the lawn, it's uh, very difficult to get the grass to come back here. And then we have, of course, this bird feeder up here. I don't know if that's really part of the problem, but I just cannot really get the grass to come back here. So uh, I'm going to try a few different things and see if we can get something to work. Otherwise, we're just going to put the picnic table there for the summer. Uh, well, if you're like me, you're really into uh, lawn striping and having very sharp, crisp, lines that uh, really uh, that sun really makes pop and makes your neighbors really jealous i'm going to show you how to make a, uh, a salon striper uh, diy and uh, save you about a hundred bucks if you were to go out and buy one 
uh, works surprisingly well for very little money. Um, we'll see you soon.